Hello and welcome. So in this problem, uh, this question deals with how a change to the Social Security tax. Social Security tax is uh, here kind of interpreted as a redistribution of income from uh, young to old. Um, how this might affect the economy. We find that our answer depends on the marginal propensities to consume of the young and the old, uh, and whether or not generations are linked altruistically. This question is borrowed from Chapter 19 of Mencu, Mencu's Macroeconomics, 19th, um, 8th edition. That chapter title is Government Debt and Public Deficits. So the question reads the following. The Social Security system levies a tax on workers and pays benefits to the elderly. Suppose that Congress increases both the tax and the benefits. Uh, for simplicity, assume that Congress announces that an increase will last for only one year. So let's look at Part A. Part A reads, how do you suppose this change would affect the economy? And hint is, uh, think about the marginal prop propensities to consume for the young and the old. So uh, first off, let's talk about the Social Security system in this kind of simple example. So Social Security um, taxes current workers, so I'm calling these people the young. So it takes it takes money from them in taxes, uh, and then it just hands it to the old. So the old, uh, the elderly receive those taxes uh, as a form of extra income. So in this example, the taxes for the young increase, so the young have less disposable income uh, for themselves to spend, and the elderly receive that extra money and they have extra income. Okay, so that's the setup. Uh, and then the next thing we need to find is this marginal propensity to consume. The marginal propensity to consume for each group here is gonna be given a change in disposable income, so that's income minus taxes. Uh, this is disposable income. Given a change in disposable income, we're curious how different groups change their consumption. Uh, you know that if you were given a tax cut today, uh, you'd certainly spend, you know, you'd certainly consume a bit of that, but the idea is that you wouldn't consume all of it. Uh, the portion of an additional income that you would re that you receive today that you would spend is equal is your marginal propensity to consume. So it's like kind of the percent of, of additional disposable income you get that uh, you'd actually, you know, spend on consumption. Okay, so now let's realize that there's two different groups here. We got the young and the old, right? So the young here um, have their taxes increase. They would decrease the consumption by amount that depends on their marginal propensity to consume. You know, so they uh, they get a decrease in their incomes, and so they're going to decrease their consumption by some amount. Uh, the old here uh, have their incomes increased, uh, and they're going to increase their consumption by that marginal propensity to consume. So. Um, So just kind of think about the effect for the overall economy if the marginal propensity to consume of the young was exactly equal to the marginal propensity to consume of the old. That would imply that uh, the overall economy is not affected at all, right? Because for every decrease in spending of the young, the old uh, consume that much more, right? So the marginal propensities to consume are, are identical in that case. Um, the only difference here is that the young are kind of worse off. They have less to spend than the old. But um, one thing that we might conclude is that the marginal propensity to consume the old is greater than the marginal propensity to consume of the young. Uh, then we'd expect this policy to can increase overall consumption, uh, since the old will spend a larger portion of their new income than the young would have. Uh, note that it's usually assumed that the old, in fact, have higher marginal propensity to consume than the young. So you might think of this as a, a way to stimulate the overall economy, this, this redistribution effect here. So part B asked, uh, does your answer depend on whether generations are altruistically linked? Well, if generations are altruistically linked, the idea is that, uh, you know, the old, uh, the elderly care about what happens to the young and vice versa. So if generations are altruistically linked, then an increase of income for the old at the expense of the young might not make the old feel better off, since the, their younger relatives that are in their household or their family are now made worse off. So if the old don't want to take advantage of their added income that's coming from the expense of the young, they may set aside some of that added income as a guest, as a gift or a bequest or something like that to the young. So that is to say that they might consume less of that added income then their marginal propensities to consume would suggest they will. So uh, to the extent that generations are altruistically linked, this policy, you know, might be mitigated. Um, so that's that.
question. You know, it's just kind of a simple example of uh, helping you think about some of these policies that might affect Social Security. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have a good day.